Hi guys, Dave here. Today on Steel Euphoria, we get to take a look at a case sow belly design. Get all excited when I see these sow bellies on the workbench. These are one of my favorite designs from Case. One of my favorite designs from anybody, period. We just, I absolutely love them. Just love them to death. Uh, this one comes to you in the uh, green and yellow micarta. Kind of like a real smooth, smooth linen micarta. This one is glassy smooth. There's no, well, very limited grip on this one. This one is really impregnated with the uh, the epoxy. Just super glassy smooth on that one. I was kind of curious of and how that would turn out when we got it in hand versus the photos online. But I like the look of it. It's got a, a real attractive look to it. It's nicely finished. Really sets it off nice with that case. Diamond shield there. You got your case XX stamp in there. Of course, your nickel silver bolsters. Nickel silver pins. Let's take a look at our springs on the back and the finishing how they do I gotta be a little bit more picky when I get these case knives I gotta really check things out there's a little bit of a gap going on there you can kind of see it nothing major but something you can spot if you're really looking for it something us knife nuts will look for How's that reverse side look for us? Very beautiful. Well, let's open her up and see what makes this guy tick, huh? Got your main blade here. There's no half stop. Wonderful snap. Boy, shook the darn camera. Sorry about that, guys. And there's Tony's take on that clip point blade. Just fantastic. Got a nice tip on that one. We like to see that. Sometimes you get those case knives from the factory and they like to round that tip off for you. I think they just do that to see who's paying attention sometimes. But you can always fix that. Hit it on the, put it on the stone. Give her a few swipes. Sharpen that tip up again. Whatever system you like to use. Let's take a look at our stamping here. See if I can get a good shot of that for you. There's your case, long tail C, double X. And this one is a five dot. Can't really see it up close with the camera, but it is a five dot, there you go. And if I forgot to mention it, guys, the uh, sow belly measures in at 3 and 7 eighths inches closed and has a weight, this particular model actually has a weight of 2.8 ounces. So not too bad at all for a nice darn near 4 inch knife. Darn near 4 inches closed. It's not bad at all. Boy, it's just nice and smooth. That snap is something else. Really nice snap on that. Nice and smooth. Good closing snap. Let's take a look at that sheep's foot, should we? Good snap. Nice and smooth. Let's see if I can get a shot of the etching there. You got your USA. Tony Bowes 10339. And then you got your SS right below that, which you kind of tough for me to get on camera. So this is in cases true sharp. I'm sorry, true sharp stainless steel. Take another look at that. Sheep's foot on there. Just beautiful polished job. You guys know I love these sheep's foot blades. I'm a fan. And 
you see there on the reverse side, they got a nice swedge grind on top there to minimize on the the contact it's going to have, the, the touching of the other blades while you're opening and closing it, which they did pretty good on this one. There's there's some light rub. Let's check the centering on the main blade here. It kind of favors the shield side. Don't really see any major rubbing of any kind. So that's not too bad. I don't mind if it's off center a little bit, as long as she's not rubbing and causing damage. I'm okay with that. Let's check out Yul Spey. How's she doing in there? Good snap. It's kind of a light snap, but it's a good snap. There you see her stainless steel designation. And again, you see that really long top swedge grind on there. So they give it room to play around with the other blades in there when she's opening and closing. Really nice and smooth. So yeah, it's a um, really a gem of a pocket knife. I really like the finish on here. Really unique, something different, something besides your standard bone. I like how Case is really changing things up. Just a really nice, really nice sound belly from Case. Guys, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. As always, till next time.